Hello guys and gals and welcome to Behind the Scenes for March 2013. My name is Tom and it would seem that Jagex has been quite a big fan of controversy lately and they're carrying on that theme with the updates they're going to bring us in March. So let's see what's first on the list which is combat abilities and upgrades. So basically there's going to be a bit of an overhaul to how dual wielding works. You'll be able to dual wield different auto cast spells for each hand for mage and you'll even be able to dual wield cross class weapons so for instance you can have one magic weapon and one melee weapon or one melee one ranged or whatever combination you want to use they're going to buff up the damage of dual wielding to be more in line with two handed weapons and abilities and there's also going to be four new basic combat abilities for range and mage which includes the Ranger's Needle Strike and the Mage's Concentrated Blast, both of which will raise your crit chance. So if you're a big fan of dual wielding, then this month will be good for you. Next on the list is Wilderness Warbounds, and this will be a members only feature. As you can imagine, it's centered around the wilderness, so it's PvP centric and you can die during this and lose all your stuff. Basically the premise of this is that there are old burial sites for battlegrounds and stuff and you'll have to go to these sites and perform a ritual. Now how you perform this ritual is up to you. You can either go in stealthily and perform the ritual which will earn you generous amounts of summoning and prayer XP or if you're not a big fan of stealth and you just want to kill everything then you will get Slayer XP for defeating the general bosses which will be at these sites. Once the dust has settled from the fighting you'll be able to raid storage tents of the god minions for loot as well as thieving, farming, construction and mining experience. Some of these storage tents will contain rare new loot including the Wand of Treachery which is a new tradable mage weapon aimed at mid to high level players. I'm going to guess that this is around level 70, but it could be higher or lower, because they haven't given us a specific number. These NPCs will also be the first to make full use of the new combat system, including using their own tactics and countering yours as they fight to protect their camp. They made this claim with the last Grandmaster quest, like they said it was going to in fully incorporate the evolution of combat, so it's interesting that they're making this claim again. Um, that's just something I've noticed. But anyway, if you pick up this Wand of Treachery, or any of the new loot for that matter, which, which is rare, then you'll need to defend yourself as it'll highlight you to those around you as its bearer. So people will know if you've picked up a rare item and they will try to kill you in order to get it. So you'll have to defend yourself and yeah, basically prepare to lose all your stuff. Next up on the list is Easter but not as we know it. This is for free to play players and members. Apparently they're going to take a different approach to the Easter event this year. We can still expect to get costumes, items and emotes as our rewards. And there will be some members only content but free to play players will be able to experience some of this event. There isn't too much details on what the event is going to be only that it will be different from the normal so keep your eyes peeled for this one. And the last section of this article is called Game Changes, which includes both free-to-play players and members. So first of all, they're going to make changes to the trial system. So new players to RuneScape will start off as a free player once again. But in order to do this, they're making Berthorpe and Tavoli part of the free-to-play game, as well as the associated quests and training areas within those areas. They're also going to allow free-to-play players to train member skills up to a maximum of level 5 so they can have a little taste of members without having to actually become a member. Which is a quite a nice way to do it I think. This is much better than the two week trial members I feel. And they're also going to make changes to the way run energy affects the game, although I don't really feel that this was needed personally. All players will soon find themselves spending far less time walking as we reduce the drain rate and weight penalty and increase the restore rate for all things run energy related. And they're also going to add an auto run feature will basically make you run whenever you have the available energy to do so. But as always, training your agility will 
always increase the benefits of run energy. Like I say, I don't think this was really needed, but I suppose it'll be good for lower level players. Next up, other alterations include dicing and flower games around the Grand Exchange. Now, Jagex have prepared a few solutions that could deal with this issue, which includes rule changes, content changes, and even their own versions of these flower and dice games. But which one of these solutions they implement will be up to us, so keep your eyes, eyes peeled for this one. I think people are always going to try and gamble and stuff like that, so at least if Jagex implemented their own versions of these games, then people would be a lot less likely to get scammed, or just wouldn't get scammed at all, I guess. And finally, as always predictable, Squeal of Fortune and Solomon's General Store updates. There's going to be some improvements to the General Store. You'll notice extra support for prestige items in the keepsake box. I'm not entirely sure what that is, to be honest and more flexibility with animation and weapon overrides, including the ability to select multiple overrides at the same time. So I imagine this will be sort of to support dual wielding a bit more. You can have multiple skins on multiple weapons. But that's pretty much it for this article. If you liked this video and found it useful, thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.